Hi everyone. Today is a crazy day. I'm cutting my hair into, I think a bob. I don't know, I'm just gonna cut it to what feels right, but I have not had bob length hair since I was probably like six. And the reason I had to cut my hair to a bob when I was like six, keep in mind, when I was a child, I had beautiful, long, curly, like ringlet hair. And then I got nits and my mom was too lazy to comb it out. So we just went and we got a bob. And then ever since that day, my hair has been like wavy. Like I've never been able to have like perfect ringlets ever since I cut my hair into a bob. I've had some hair nightmare stories, but I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I need to do this because at the moment I do have hair extensions. I've had them for like three months now maybe, and it's just a lot of maintenance. And I feel like I need to start taking care of my real hair. This is the length oh, of my real hair. I'm just kidding. And I think it'll be like a setup. I think it'll be a vibe to just cut my hair short. It's an excuse because I would never normally cut my hair short because my dream is to naturally long hair to here, but that's just not naturally possible for me, which is fine. I'm really just like milking this because I am scared and I don't want to do it, but it has to be done. First, I need to take out my extensions. I was going to go get them taken out, but this is a DIY. So I actually just looked up on Google. I'm like, how to take out tape extensions? And it said use oil. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where to start. Oh, and by the way, this is like my first video on YouTube in my new place. And it does not look any different to me. <laughs> Because I really loved the bathroom at my old house. So I just had to find a place with basically the same bathroom. I'm really happy. And I'm excited because hopefully soon I'll do a house tour. I'm not finished with like setting everything up. So you'll have to wait and see. All right. So I'm sectioning my hair. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to oil my hair, but I don't know if I'm going to let the oil sit and soak or if I'm just going to like go and take the extension out. I'm scared, guys. All right. So first, I think I'm going to try with coconut oil. This is the brand I'm using. I'm going to try this one first. It's just coconut oil. All right. I'm just going to... Do I just soak it in my whole head? Maybe I'll just do that and like pull it out. Why am I sectioning it? Oh my God, imagine if I oil my whole head and the extensions don't come out and I'm just left with an oily head. Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna oil my whole head. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so it kind of appears like nothing's happening. All right, maybe I should have done it in sections. Now I am stressing. All right, I'm gonna do it again, but put my hair in sections as you can see. <laughs> I think I just wasted a whole tub of oil on my head because these aren't feeling loose. I don't know what I was meant to do. Did you use a whole bottle? Yeah. The whole thing. Look how drenched my head is. You ripping my natural hair? I don't know why you didn't go to the store to get this done. Why is it crunchy? <laughs> what? What do I do with it now? I don't know why I thought that all just slipped out of my head. Luge, I can't do this. You're gonna have to call someone to come do it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm scared. Worst case, you lose all your hair. How many are there? There's no way either of us will get this out. Okay, you guys. So, sorry I kind of left before, but <laughs> I kind of had a freak out because it wasn't working. I thought it would just literally slide out of my head, but it didn't, and oil was getting everywhere. I always do this. I'm impulsive. We looked at some videos, and people were oiling, and then they were putting, like, alcohol spray, but I was not about to go down the shops like this, but luckily, I have some Mecca brush cleaner, which is just, like, purely alcohol. I looked at the ingredients, so we're spraying that in my hair to kind of get the extent out so this is just taking a while but thank god i have my hairdresser here adrian because this is taking so long i'm not gonna put you guys through this pain so we're gonna take these out and then i'm gonna shower wash my hair and then we'll come back for when it's time to snip snip we're back i just showered and now adrian's going to be cutting my hair so my hair's up to like here but he's going to snip it all off i don't know how short he's gonna go i'm gonna let him do his thing but here you go i'm scared i'm not a hairdresser yes you are you hairdress me i'm gonna cut off about two inches. Straight. I'm good. You say this every time. So you really sure? How short? How I can't see. I don't give a damn. I literally don't care anymore. Much more shorter do you want? I don't know. I think up to yeah, like maybe that much off. We're gonna decide what we want. Oh, hey guys, so 
I just had a shower and washed my hair again because it is literally so oily, so much oil in my hair. And to be honest, I don't know if I got all of the oil out. I cut my hair pretty short and now, oh my goodness, I need to style it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use in my hair before I dry it. So I kind of have like three key products. The first one is my GHD heat protected spray. So I'm just kind of going everywhere with that. But the thing is, is that now that I have less hair, I should probably be using less otherwise it's gonna make my hair feel a bit weird i also have this color wow spray now this is the dream coat and i have very very frizzy hair it gets everywhere this just kind of gets rid of the frizz and it makes it more shiny i'm spraying this everywhere and then this i've been using for years and this is like a leave-in treatment that i use i'm literally gonna do like one and a half pumps just to really get that in the bottoms of my hair and now i'm just gonna brush all of that product through my hair this is kind of the vibe already i'm scared but it's kind of cute i might go shorter i just want to see how it looks with makeup first to know how short i want to go because i'm considering going more short but i'm scared I'm scared of everything hey so now i'm going to be blow drying my hair now what i'm going to be doing to add more volume is i'm going to be like blow drying my hair like the opposite way like against how it's going to fall in every direction so basically just like doing my hair upside down So now as you can see, I have a huge buff on my head. Now, this is great. <laughs> this is what we wanted, but um, I still, for our sakes, have some oil left in my hair. You can't really see on video, but I can definitely tell through touching it feels quite oily. It's gross. <sighs> I'm gonna use my dry shampoo. <laughs> Breathe. <coughs> okay, and because clearly this is like a buffed up mess, I'm going to now be straightening my hair. I'm just straightening it all. And I'm probably going to do some cute little flicks at the end, but I'll do that last. I just kind of want to straighten it and see how it is. As I said, I don't think we'll cut it again. Maybe not in this video, but let me know if I should go shorter. Like, this is a pretty awkward length, I'm not going to lie. But already, this is like so much easier to do my hair than it was with like 20 kilos of hair on my head. I feel like a mum. Alright, now I'm going to straighten my hair upside down so it doesn't like lose the volume on top. I feel like it's also quite easy to straighten hair upside down. Alright, now that I look like I've been electrocuted, I'm going to part my hair down the middle. Okay, so this is kind of the length that it's at. Just straightened, but I'm gonna flick up the ends just so it has a little bit more character. This is how it looks with a bit of a flick. I really like it. Alright, now it's time to glow up a little bit and see how I look with this hair with makeup. I'm pretty content. I don't know how I feel about the length. Like, I might go shorter, but let I mean, I'm a bit too scared to today, but also like I have not had my hair this short as I said in the start of the video since I was a literal four-year-old child. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna try and glow up a little bit and let's get into some makeup. This is the finished look with the finished hair. I kind of just did the same thing that I always do, just a little bit of extra eyeliner. I cut my hair and I don't know how I feel. Let me know if I should go shorter. Obviously it's a bit too late to go longer now, but I'm happy with the length now. I think Adrian did a really really good job at cutting my hair. He's the best hairdresser I've ever had. <laughs> Maybe here. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared you guys. Stop. And hey guys, this is the finished look. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video. I'm always changing. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you very very soon. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, bye.